Hello and welcome foxes to my hallowed sepulchre floor 2. This is a full run going over tile markers and obstacles. Let's get it. There are actually 4 layouts for floor 2 that you can be thrown into, some deceptively quick while others not so much. There's no real way to tell them apart so I'll just list them as we go. Layout 1. This layout starts with wizards. They only have one pattern though. Small pause here for tile markers, in case you would like to copy mine. Wait for the fires to die out and move to the next marker, then repeat till you're out. Then run up to the arrow. Make small clicks near your character to allow for better movement from your character as you make your way through the arrows and into the squares. For these, I like to wait and run over a row that are not lit up, even if it takes a few seconds from my time. Then go down the stairs. More wizards. I won't pause this time as it's a little bit of waiting. You don't have to worry about them really, so once the fires go down, move to the next tile. Then wait, fires go down, move again. It's the same for the second set of wizards here. Just wait for fires, then move to the next tile markers. Once through, jump and hit the obelisk if you have your Cerodome and item to refresh your agility. You've completed layout 1 of floor 2. Layout 2. This layout starts with one arrow. Make small clicks close to your character as you progress to the other side. Then it's two small squares, just run over non-lit ones. Here comes our first sword. We are going to run right behind it to the marked safe spot on the right. Wait for it to pass us and then head across to the left and continue through. Go down the stairs and you're greeted by an arrow. Do small clicks again for better control and make your way across to the other side. You jump across here and then click the obelisks. You are now done with layout 2. Layout 3. This layout starts with 4 jumps across to the other side. Super simple. You can't fail it. Then it's an arrow so small clicks and make your way through. Now we see another sword obstacle. We're going to wait for it to return, then run to the other side before the sword is set out again. Then go down the stairs. So now there's three squares, but nothing else making this relatively easy. Just run over rows with none of them lit up. Wizards next. Only one pattern, so wait for the fire to die, then run to the tile marker. Then repeat until you're through. Then jump across and you've completed layout 3. Layout 4. Okay, this is the last variation for floor 2 that you could possibly see. It starts with a sword. We're going to wait till it's thrown back out and follow behind it to the other side. Then run around the wall to the squares. Same as always, run over non-lit spots if possible and make your way across. Next up, wizards. No patterns, so just wait for the flames to die, then move to the next marker. Wait for the fire, then move again. Now, down the stairs. Here we have another sword. Gonna wait till it's thrown and follow behind. 
Once I'm at the safe spot, I'm gonna go around to the right to save a couple seconds and jump over. Remember to click the obelisk if you have a Ceridoman item to refresh your agility, and you're done with the fourth layout of Floor 2. And those are all the layouts of Floor 2 that you could come across. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching.